Izu Shabotan um, Zoo. And it's kind of famous for capybara, and that's why I came here because I've never seen a capybara before. It's like the first time I've ever seen one. <laughs> and this is a this is the first zoo that has capybara going in on set. Like this is the first the first place that capybara ever started to take a bath. Because capybara are from like South America and Brazil. And when they imported them into Japan, they found out that they really liked onsen. And this is the first place where they took a bath, so it's just like also historical. And I wanted to go for a long time, but I didn't. Um, I never really got the chance. So finally, I got there, and I'm so 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 happy because like the journey here was honestly a nightmare. Burning day. I'm not sure why. Maybe for uh, to prevent a forest fire. I'm not quite sure. So this mountain is on fire, and he's like, I can take you to the exit, but I'm not sure if you can get there. So we're like, okay, let's just go there. So he drives us to the exit, and we see the mountain in the distance on fire. And I'm like, why does it feel like sunset? There is so much smoke coming from the mountain that like everything's orange, and it was like we're driving in hell. It was honestly the most obscure. Um, journey I've ever been on but totally worth it. Oh my god finally we're here. Is there Shabatanzu? Okay so this is the cafe. There is a capybara burger and a lot one of the things here is that they use cactus. The other cafe has like a cactus um Korean rice and I think they have a cactus burger as well. So this is a petting zoo where you can touch the capybara. Oh my god, this is the first time I've ever seen a capybara in real life. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's so small! Look at his feet! That's so ridiculous! Why do they look like that? It looks like all the spare parts when God was making an animal. He just like threw it together at the last moment. Oh my god. Okay, so we put the money here and then we can get some grass. Can you open my wallet and get 200? 200 yen? That's good, they have a money exchange um, machine. And I think it's just like normal, normal grass. You can use these oven gloves to touch them. 
<laughs> Wanted to see this one, tapir, tapir, because this is one animal I've never seen before, and oh my god, what a little freak it is! Why does it look like that? So freaking weird. Look at its nose. This penguin is very close, but it says do not touch them because they bite. And this one looks like he bites too. Oh my god, finally. I've been waiting years to see this. Absolutely years. And I didn't think they were going to get here today, so I'm really, really excited. And I'm not sure what kind of bath it is today. I thought it was oranges, but no, I don't think that is oranges anymore. So let's go see. Okay, so that was the water at one thirty. So now they're just chilling and uh, eating their and eating their grass. Oh, there's baby ones too. This is the onsen before they fill it up. I like this guy just chilling. Want to see the picture yeah, it's basically just a coconut dog. Like it's dog shape with the coconut hair and like just chicken feet. Oh, it feels like a coconut. <laughs> it feels like a coconut. This is what peak performance looks like. You might not like it, but peak beauty standards. It's starting, they're playing really cute music. I guess the water will come out of there. ご覧の客様、目の前にですね、石の柵や木の柵あるお客様いらっしゃるかなと思います。見えにくいからといってですね、身を乗り出してしまったりしますので、まあ、髪を乗り出したりは絶対にしないようにお願いをいたします。さあ
見えにくいよという方様いらっしゃいましたらですねお時間少し、えー、ずらして見に来ていただければと思いますずっとですね買った姿見ていただけるかなと思いますのでThe two genders, blue capybara and pink capybara. Okay, so there's a curry restaurant, there's an Italian restaurant, but the place I really, really want to go is it's called the like the forest cafe. Okay, so this is the outside. They did a really good job. I wasn't sure how much decoration there was going to be. Oh. Oh my god, there's flamingos on the ceiling! It's so well decorated, oh my god. They're playing Animal Crossing music. Oh my god, the tables have little plushy capybara on them. This is amazing, so you never, you don't have to be lonely when you eat. It's so cute, oh my god. This is my table. <laughs> Oh, you got a good one. Good job. The um, seasonal item is flamingo curry, and it honestly looks disgusting, but I kind of want to try it. It's not even flamingo colored, it's just like orange. I want one of these. Okay, so we got the capybara teriyaki burger, and I got this taco rice because it's supposed to look like the fire that the the mountain that's on fire, the reason that we were so freaking late today. And I guess it kind of does, but I think all taco rice kind of looks like that, so it's kind of like uh, cheating. But yeah, we got the capybara table. I'm so happy. This is great. I think that every meal should be eaten with a giant um, plush animal. This is great. That's what you get for being so stupid looking. <laughs> He's thick. This is cactus ice cream. Okay, so this is cactus ice cream. My mom used to live in Mexico and they used to eat cactus like every day. They would just cut it and like wrap it in a tortilla and put a little bit of hot sauce on it. So cactus is good. This is a flavor I've never tried before. I don't even know how to describe it. It's really interesting. I kind of want to buy something from the gift shop. I really want to buy. <gasps> That's what I want. That's what I want. I want this. Ranking number one. There's one with the little towel on its head and a little orange. Oh my god, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna get this. There's a slightly bigger one as well. I don't know what small one's kind of cute. Do the thing, do the thing. That's hideous. No! <laughs> Get away from me! They're so chaotic, I love them. Did you know that in the hierarchy of meerkats, the meerkat that is king is the meerkat with the most shiny objects. And they're just like humans, they're like natural capitalists. Go. Where you can touch the animals. I'm gonna feed 
I thought it would be. Oh, it's so good. I'm so glad I picked this. Mm. Basically, when I take the train, I tend to get a little bit sick, so I try to eat something a little bit salty before the train, and this is perfect. The mascot of this station is hilarious. <laughs> We're taking this itty bitty little mini train. So I finally got home. Um, it didn't take that much longer to get home using the local train, honestly. I think next time I might take the local train because it was much cheaper. And if you can't, like if you have to pay that much more to reserve your seats, and if you don't, then you might not get a seat, then I can't really be bothered with the, the longer train. So yeah, I really um, suggest just getting the local one. Honestly, one of the best days in years like fantastic seeing the capybara in having a little bath fantastic 100% recommend i have a bit of a weird relationship with zoos obviously i don't like zoos that treat animals badly and i feel like a lot of zoos in tokyo don't treat the animals very well particularly when i zoo there's like one polar bear that really sticks out the polar bear just looks so depressed but i think if you really want to go to a zoo there are a lot of bigger zoos um far away from Tokyo in like Shizuoka and Gunma and Tochigi and obviously the further out you go the more space there's going to be so the more space there is for the animals and um, yeah Izzy was great I seen Shizuoka and the air is just much cleaner there they're next to the ocean um, it's high up it just the air was great um, the climate was nice and there's lots of greenery so I think if you're gonna go to a zoo it's probably one of the better options the capybara bathe until like mid-April, I think. I think it's different at different zoos, but for her Shabbaton, it's mid-April. So if you want to go, you have to check the website and make sure that they're still doing the bath. Really, really recommend it. Amazing day. And yeah, it's just, it was really nice to take a little trip. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching and please subscribe.